Hi, we're now going to talk about an app called Air Sharing, which has been available for some time on the iOS platform. I'm running it here on my iPhone. I'm just going to tap on the icon to launch it. And what you'll see is a list of all of your network attached storage folders, basically. So what you'll notice is that this app will actually work with most common remote file stores. So I can tap on the plus button up here and you'll notice you've got all of these options here so there are options for connecting back to your Mac for example so using SSH, SFTP um, you can even if we go down the list connect using WebDAV which can also be set up on OS X server uh, as like a folder you can browse back to obviously basic ones like FTP are built in and Dropbox accounts it's actually extremely easy to add these accounts in you know it's a case of just tapping on Dropbox for example typing in your Dropbox user details, username and password and what you'll then find when we go back to the previous screen is so I've got my account that's been added here I can tap on that one it's going to view your entire file system so just like as if you were sat in front of your computer browsing your Dropbox you can see all your same folders and I can tap on a, a file there it's going to download that from the server and display it to me straight away there are a variety of settings on air sharing if I tap on the spanner in the bottom corner you'll notice that it's actually possible for the air sharing app to share with other devices so this is something we have turned on at the moment and using the Mac in front of me I can actually browse this air sharing directory On the screen we're on now it's actually showing us the address to type in, so opening up my Safari and typing in HTTP 10.0.0.90 which is my local IP address. We're now presented with a screen which lists our uh, local files and just to pop these open on my own device here you'll see that this is the same folder that's being browsed. Within my samples folder we've got a variety of files and I can actually load those and this is now over my Wi-Fi network I can browse through files on my iOS device and you can see the, the benefit to this for businesses for business customers um, WebDAV which was the other option we looked at just now is great because iWork on iOS also supports WebDAV and you can use this to share files between your iPhone and an OS X server or a Windows server Air Sharing could really be the a really useful app for this and actually when we go back to settings you'll notice you're able to secure it so one of the beautiful things about air sharing is you do not have to type your password in every time you go to a remote file store uh, so it may be worth actually setting an application lock if we were to turn that on here I'm just going to type in a 1111 code for now and we close the app down we'll be prompted for a password as soon as we launch the app meaning other people will not be able to get your sensitive business details business information you can also turn a password on to the file share so we've just browsed directly then to that uh, to that share but if we turn that password on we'll see if this works and we refresh it so now we're being prompted for a password and I can log in with the details I just set Hopefully this gives you some idea of the power of air sharing. I think it's an app that's about £6.99 on the UK App Store. It could be really, really useful if you're trying to share files between devices.